Today we're going to read from James 4, 8. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Sometimes we can get so distracted and so caught up in worldly things or just, you know, we can even get caught up in good things like our family and sports and cleaning. Maybe, you know, we want our house to be immaculate. You know, we can just get so caught up in doing things that uh, they need to be done, but we need to be spending time with the Lord. We need to be setting aside time every single day to fellowship with the Lord. And that means reading his word and praying or listening to a sermon or, you know, just simply worshiping to worship music. That helps me when I feel like I have just neglected to spend time with the Lord for a couple days. And then I just uh, get in this mood or in this funk that I just have to spend some time with the Lord because it, it's important for our spiritual life. So my name is Michelle. And if this is the first time that you have stopped by my channel, what you will find here is biblical encouragement that encourages you to mature in your own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ because that is how you live a victorious Christian life. And if you come here all the time, then I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. And I just pray that it's helping you live a more vibrant, a more alive Christian life. So today we're talking about drawing near to God so that we can be aware of his presence that's always there. All right, let's get into it. It's important for our life in general. As Christians, we need to be spending time with the Lord. And if we're not, we're going to feel far from him. But I've heard it said before, and I'm sure you have too, that the Lord never moves. He didn't go anywhere. So if we feel far from the Lord, it's because we have moved. So that's why it's so important to set aside time, to be intentional about spending time with the Lord. And the other verse I want to share with you today is John 16, 24. It says, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive. Then your joy may be full. That's the other thing about drawing close to the Lord. We're, we're in prayer. We're fellowship with him, with him. We're communicating with him on a daily basis. So we're bringing him our request, our prayer request, and he's answering them in a way that only he can. But if we don't bring those requests to him, then we're simply living in our own strength and doing our own things, trying to make the things happen that we want to happen. So we have to be intentional about drawing close to the Lord. And I have personally experienced both situations. I have been so close to the Lord that his presence is almost tangible. You know, I can experience it. I can feel it for lack of a better word. And I know that he's there and he's answering prayer and he's listening to me and we're fellowshipping and it's deep and it's intimate and it's personal. But I've also been on the other side where I don't feel like the Lord is near at all. And that's when I remind myself that the Lord has not moved. He is right there always waiting to fellowship with me. That's the thing about the Lord. He's omnipresent. So for all of us, the Lord is always present and always available. So we have to just remember, we have to be intentional about our relationship with the Lord. We have to be focused on the Lord and his word and prayer and being sensitive to the Holy Spirit so that our relationship with him can be vibrant and alive and, and positive and moving forward. You know, a relationship with the Lord should not be stagnant. You know, I heard it said once also that if your relationship is stagnant, if you are not moving forward with the Lord, then you're moving backwards. Like you cannot just be stagnant with the Lord. The Lord always has more for us. 
He always has more for us to experience, more for us to learn, more for us to do for his glory. So if we're trying to live this Christian life without a relationship, a personal, deep and intimate relationship with the Lord, then we're not living the best Christian life that God has for us. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word, Lord. We thank you that you care about us, that you want to be near to us, Lord. So I just pray that each one of us would be in your word every single day, drawing near to you so that we can be aware of your presence, Lord, that's always there. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that video encourages you today to seek the Lord, to be intentional about being in the word of God every single day and be communicating with him through prayer. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel so that we can continue to build this community of believers. I'll be back here next Wednesday, so I hope you stop by and uh, visit with me. All right, take care. God bless.